Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? This is Mega Reed here. Welcome back to another tour review by yours truly. So today we got a brand new review here, um, just fresh for the fresh and ready for the New Year's. We have Bakugan set today. This is the Bakugan Armor Alliance Fusion Battle Bundle set. So as you can see, um, as as I do with all these videos nowadays, this is you know it's a Walmart exclusive. Yes, we have. The, uh, we have nice box art here. So let's take a look at the box real quick before we actually get into the goods. So you have the box with, uh, as you can see, there's Trox there. And we have a Hydrus there, which is nice. Fusion Battle Bundle. And uh, on the back here, actually way on the sides, we do have some stuff here, including exclusive Bakugan. This is Trox X a Nobilius right over here, and then on the right hand or left hand side, we have the um, the other exclusive background, which is Trox, not Trox, um, Hydrus X Trino. There we go, one of the back confusion figures. You can see right there on the back, we do have the stuff here roll, transform, and score on the battle mats. Yes, you do get the classical battle mat. I will show you guys that in a second. We do have Fangzor X Mansonoid right there, it's one of the background that comes in the set. The Hydrus X Trino we saw earlier. Trox X Nobilius that we saw already, and then Trox X Cyrus. Yeah, and these are all new figures, which is fantastic. So with those out of the way, let's get into the good stuff. As, a, as you guys know with these videos, I'm not really going to show you anything, like everything like I used to. I'm just going to show you guys the stuff that's actually important for these. So in this set, you basically get everything else that you've seen before. You know, instructions and... Baku cores and all that good stuff. But the most interesting part of this, especially when it comes to the, you know, collectible cards and stuff, is that we actually get a couple of the brand new gate cards. Yes, uh, gate cards do return in Armored Alliance, which is really nice. As you can see, we have a Baku Fusion figure right there. I believe that is... Oh, God. I think that's... Oh, who is that? I think that's Auxilatory, I think? I can't tell. Anyway, so we have the Fusion Force icon right there, and we have the little stats right there. 300, 0, 400, 200, 500, 100. So, that's pretty cool. And on the back, we have the standard backing, like we did with the training cards. Which, for comparison, here we have the training card right there. So you can see the real difference between these two. This one just has the nice art on it, and this one just... Also has nice art, but it also has these stats right there, so you can actually use these in the game, which is really cool. And as I said, the backs are pretty much entirely the same, and with sneeze, you can put them together and you can get the full art on the backs of each card, so that's pretty cool. With those out of the way, we also get another gate card. This is the Hydrus gate card, which again looks really nice. We have Hydrus right there with all the little stats and the Fusion Force logo, so that's pretty cool. Back, as I said, is just is the same on all of these cards. So that's pretty cool. And we're actually going to keep this one here for the openings of the figures. So let's take a look at them, starting with... I think we're going to start with the Aqua side. So let me get the figures. There we go. We're going to start off with um, Mantanoid X Fangzor, which is a pretty cool one. I do like this fusion. This was one of the most promoted, one of the more promoted figures for the Fusion Force line. So let me just open them up, and let's take a look at his open form. There we go, and as you guys can see, he looks really good. Love the nice details on this guy. I'm not going to go too much over the details on this figure. But overall, as I said, really nice Fusion Force figure. So, for a quick comparison, I'm going to bring in the core versions of both things, or Mantanoid, so you guys can see how they fuse the figures together to make the Fusion Force version of these two characters. So let me grab a Fangzor. Let me see if I have the actual Fangzors that these used. I believe that this one was, yeah, was the... So yeah, it's Aquas Fangzor, and then I believe it's Oralus Mantanoid? I think is what it is. I'm fairly certain that's the two figures they fused together. Give me one second while I try to find my Mantanoid. I have no idea where the heck I put it. Okay, there it is. Okay, that's Mantanoid for a second. I thought I grabbed Fangzor. I was about to say, oh jeez. So anyways, um, we have Fangzor right there, and then we have Mantanoid right here. So you can see 
how they try to fusion the figures together. And like I said, it is pretty cool. I mean, it's essentially just a snake and a praying mantis fused together. But as I said, really cool looking, especially with all this gold metallic paint and everything. He looks absolutely fantastic. Not to mention, it's kind of cute that he has little vestigial legs there or something. You know, it's pretty cool. So that is Fangzor X Mantanoid. So very nice figure. Next one on the aqua side, if I can just get everything back into the Battle Planet collection here, because as you guys already know, my Battle Planet collection is massive. Well, this one is, <laughs> let's be honest, it's lacking. So I'm going to keep them off in the background here, actually. We're going to get the other figure, which is the Hydrus X Trino Fusion, which, as I said, a very nice fusion. Ball form looks really good. Looks like a ball. <laughs> but then we open him up. And there we go. So as you can see, he does look really good. If the camera will actually focus on him. Focus. Focus, darn you. And I guess we'll have to work with this unless it... Oh, now you decide to focus right as I move the thing. So you can see, it looks pretty nice. So basically, it's a lion and a triceratops fusion. Yeah, I know that sounds horrifying in concept. But Bakugan surprisingly makes it work. I mean, sure, the legs are kind of fused back here and they don't really stick out or anything, but at least the front legs are, you know, visually distinct and the face is pretty nice. And I like how he kind of has the little trino horns coming out of his head and also has the head crest, which is pretty nice. As you can see, we also have the factions here for both Aquos and Aurelis, so... That's pretty nice, and again, for comparison for the original figures, let me get a Hydrus, and let me get a Trino figure, and then we can compare them, so we can see how they fuse the figures together. So let me grab a Hydrus one. Do I have an Aquos one? I think I do. I don't know. I only have my Ventus, so I guess, yeah, I'm just going to grab my Ventus one, guys, because I don't believe I actually have an Aquos one yet. I don't know how I don't, but I don't, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I have one. Unless I'm completely losing my mind. I'm not seeing him. Yeah, I don't think I have an office one. So, yeah, that's not that. Okay, where's my Ventus ones? Okay, come on. Alright, after a bit of finagling over there, we have Hydrus, and now we have Trino there. So we get the horns out, like that, and there we go. Those are the original two figures, and we get the Fangzor and, and um, Mantonoid Fusion out of the way. So you can see how those two look together, so you can see how they all, so, you can, so now you can see visually how they combined each of the figures to make the Fusion Force one. So pretty nice. So that is that. That is the Trino and Hydrus fusion. Which, again, quite a nice fusion. So let me just get these figures out of the way. Let me get the other figure closed up. Yeah, so far, all of these are cores. I should probably mention that. All of these are core fusions. But so far, the only one that seems to be kind of a pain is Fangzor and Mant X Mantonite over here because he never wants to, well, not never wants to close. It's just that he, how do I say this? He closes in a weird kind of way. You know, he just, he did, like when he closes, like he doesn't close exactly perfect every time. Like he, sometimes a part will flip out or something because you kind of have to hold a bunch of different parts on it and then all kind of close it up at once. And I hate the ones that do that because I always manage to somehow like mess it up like mid close. It's just not fun. <laughs> But, you know, it works. So, guess it guess a, guess a good challenge is, is fun, both rolling it and closing it. So let's get out the Ventus figures, shall we? So, first up in the Ventus figures, we have... Well, in this one we get two Troxes, which is interesting. We get Trox Ex Nobilius. This is the first one. And like I said, looks really nice. Love the colors on this. Now opening it up, this is a really interesting Vekagon. I don't know why, but just the way that they combine these figures is interesting. So I'm gonna get the face up there so you can see that. And as you can see, his mouth is permanently left open, sort of roaring at, at you. And then you got his little dumpy legs right here. <laughs> 
which I don't believe are spring-loaded, or if they are spring-loaded, they are just really weak. Nope, they're not spring-loaded at all, actually. And then we have these giant wings back here, which don't even really look like wings, but then we have this little back part here, which that's kind of interesting. And then we have the actual tail back here, so yeah, there's a lot going on with this fusion, a lot going on. So that is him. Now for comparison, we're going to bring in Trox and we're going to bring in a Nobilius, which of course I'm probably going to have to bring in my Pyrus one. That should be scratched. I'm going to do, uh, whatchamacallit, I'm going to do the um, Aquas one, actually. Because the Aquas one actually plays a little nicer and isn't so much of a pain to close. So let me grab them and see. Yep, okay, that is Nobilius. Good. Okay. Can you get out of the way? Thank you. Okay. You can't stand, can you? Oh, you can, actually. All right, so there's Trox there. Let me get the legs opened up. And, ah, dang it. Get the arms out. Okay, and then we have... Jeez. We have Nobilius over here, who, of course, is kind of a nah, pain to get out. But there we go. There are the two figures. So there is Trox and Nobilius, and you can see how they fuse the two together. Yeah, if I didn't tell you guys what the fusion was, you guys would have no clue what fusion this could this, this would have been, but you can kind of tell. So, a little bit. I can kind of see what they're going with, with like the large wings, sort of like the wings on the original figure. And then Trox, well, it's kind of obvious because dinosaur parts. But other than that, I mean, this figure is just... Mm. It's interesting, and but at the same time, it doesn't really convey to me what it's supposed to be. So, that is Trox X Nobilius. He's quite an interesting little figure. So, let me see if I can actually close both of these up. As I know, well, at least the Battle Planet figures I was showing off. Because, oh, jeez. Getting these guys to close up is a pain in the butt. It's a real big pain. Because I can, because I can almost never close these, close these ultras. But thankfully, this one, unlike my Pyrus one, actually closes and stays closed, and his other leg doesn't like to flip out randomly whenever I barely touch him, which sucks. Because my Pyrus one, as you guys know, is my first one, and it's a shame that my first one had to be had to have faults in it, and just bottom line not work, and our suck. Get the stuff there. All right, let me close you up real quick. Like that. Now, it's really nice about the, uh, the, the Nobilius and Trox fusion, or Trox Nobilius, is that, is that when he kind of, when he closes, he kind of all accordions up real nice, which is great. Easy close for that one. Now, the last figure of this set, we have Trox X, oh, what is this guy? Uh, Trox X Cyrus, that's it. And as you can see, his wing kind of wibbles out. Yeah, it's a bit of a defect on this one. Um, but but without... Oh, actually, it's stuck now. Okay. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> anyway, with that being said, um, this guy's pretty good. Um, I gotta say, I like the silver. Love the gold on this. Now, Cyrus is a new figure. Uh, I don't actually have the original of Cyrus. So, this, so the comparing the figures is going to be kind of difficult for this one. But at least I can still show off trucks. So, that'll work. So, and I believe this is, actually no, this, I thought this is a core, I think this is an ultra actually. Hang on, let's see. Nope, it's a core, never mind, I'm dumb. <laughs> so yeah, this is a core, and it kind of sits a little weird on the card, but there you go. There is Trox X Cyrus, and Trox X Cyrus looks pretty good. You can see Trox looks a lot more dragon-like in this fusion. Makes sense, because it is fused with a dragon after all. We have the little feetsies down here. We have the arms, and the very nicely detailed wings. So, and there's a dopey tail back here, which actually has a, a much stronger spring than you'd think. But anyway, so that is Trox X Cyrus. Now, for comparison, as I said, I can't actually compare him with Cyrus, because I don't have Cyrus yet. But I can compare him with Trox. In this case, I'm going to use Ultra Armor Alliance Trox right here. So, let me quickly get him unfolded. Quickly fold out the arms. And there we go. So there you have the two together. And as you can see, they do have some semblances to each other, which is quite nice. I do quite like that. But uh, with that, that all being said, guys, that is going to be it for the review. This was the Bakugan Armor Alliance. 
uh, fusion battles fusion battle set I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe with your notifications on if you're new and I will see you guys later on next year there we squad and have a good one